tax reform barely came up. Could that be? Uh, depends on who you talk to, obviously. There were 52 senators in that room. The read now from Fox News Channel, John Roberts. John, um, never came up? Well, that can't be. Well, okay. Sarah Huckabee Sanders certainly would seem to disagree with us. Senator Corker's assessment of whether or not tax reform came up in the meeting. She said here at the briefing today uh, that tax reform was a major topic of conversation. We also heard from Senator McConnell that uh, the op opioid epidemic in the United States was a major topic of conversation as well. And we do know that this week, the president plans on declaring a national state of emergency. But what you were saying earlier, uh, Neil, really represents the disconnect here. Uh, you've got uh, you've got Senator Flake saying that the president's behavior has been reckless, outrageous, undignified, and then we see the Dow Jones sort of yet another record high. And you have people in the state of Arizona who say, you know, thank you very much, Jeff Flake, for taking yourself out of the running for next year's election. We'll just focus on getting a real conservative in there now without the bother of having to defeat you in the primary. So these senators are making this point, and in Jeff Blake's case, very emotional and very standing on principle. Uh, and then people who are with the party, who are fighting these establishment politicians say, good riddance to you, don't let the door hit you on the way out. And I know that Steve Bannon is fired up, uh, according to uh, people close to him, about the fact that Jeff Blake has taken himself out because they really believe on the Bannon side of the equation, and Bannon has threatened to primary every establishment Republican out there who is not with the president on his agenda. Uh, Bannon is saying it's, it's an opportunity for us, Neil, to get some real conservatives who support Donald Trump's agenda in there. So you have these senators who are standing on principle and saying these things about the president. And then on the other side, you've got business looking at the president saying, hey, things are going great as far as we're concerned. So how to reconcile those two things is, is, is really difficult. You know, you almost felt for uh, Mitch McConnell on the floor of the Senate today that after uh, Jeff Blake made the comments he did, and then he said all these good things about Jeff Blake, I did John McCain. Um, that is a very, very good, close and collegial group, as you know, uh, far better than I. And yet they deal with this conundrum of having to support, and, and I'm sure, an agenda that they obviously do support um, at the same time. So it kind of puts some of them between a rock and a hard place, doesn't it? It, it definitely does. You know, on the one side of the coin, you've, and again, it's like a two-sided coin here, you've, you've got the president pushing tax reform, lowering the corporate tax rate from 35 to 20 percent, which many people believe, corporations in particular, would be very good for business in the United States, would keep jobs here, would create jobs, might bring companies back in from overseas because they left because of